The British countryside is a source of joy for many of us, but changes in its use and management mean that a quarter of the native mammals that we share it with are threatened with extinction. One of the species in long-term decline calls this reed bed home, but you'll never spot it from up here. Weighing less than a two pence coin, the harvest mouse is one of Britain's smallest mammals. It's also the only British mammal with a prehensile tail, which helps it to clamber among reeds and tall grass. Despite occurring across much of England and Wales, changes in agricultural management and the tidying up of long grass and brambles means it's found far less often than it used to be. In response, the Mammal Society is embarking on its biggest ever National Harvest Mouse Survey. Calling on wildlife groups and the general public, the aim is to gather information on where remaining harvest mice are so that the habitats they need can be protected. At Stonebridge Wild River Reserve, volunteers from the Wiltshire Mammal Group and Action for the River Kennet have already started the search for signs of harvest mice. We've had Wiltshire Mammal Group with us showing us how to look for their nests by parting the vegetation and looking amongst the tussocks for the little nests that the mice make. For the last few winters we've been doing probably four, five or six harvest mouse surveys. Today's survey is part of that um, suite of surveys looking for harvest mice um, across the county um, and wherever possible working with other, vo other volunteer groups like the ARC project um, and some of the farmer groups in the county to try and encourage other people to do similar uh, surveys and, um, and promoting conservation of harvest mice. Harvest mice build new homes for each litter, so by surveying in winter, groups can search for abandoned nests with little chance of disturbing any families. Uh, for the purpose of doing a nest search survey, you are looking for lovely tightly woven nests um, of, of grass stems. Harvest mice tend not to use other materials and they tend not to shred their materials before they weave them. What they tend to do is weave living stems and grasses in the sward into a nest. Once we know more about where harvest mice are living and nesting and where they're not doing so well, we can focus on reversing their decline. So until recently we didn't even realise we had harvest mice here. We'd done surveys in the past for other small mammals and harvest mice had never been picked up. So now that we know after accidentally coming across one about a month ago, we thought it would be really good to find out kind of whereabouts other than that area where we'd found one on the reserve, where else they were making use of so that that can be taken into account here of how we manage the site. You don't need to be part of a volunteer group to help with the survey project. If you're out in the countryside and spot signs of harvest mice, you can send the information straight to the Mammal Society. The best thing to do and the easy thing to do would be to download the Mammal Mapper app and use the smartphone to uh, to submit your record. The Mammal Mapper app will generate a grid reference, allow you to take a photograph and it will provide all the prompts to provide a good record of that harvest mouse nest um, and that record will find its way to the local mammal group and to the Mammal Society so that we can all use it to uh, inform our conservation practices. The future of the harvest mouse is uncertain but there is hope and your contribution to the project could make a huge difference for this tiny mammal. Society. Saving Britain's wildlife.